Cooks, milestone. Cooks going to cook. You know QJB has got this guy in his lineup. Oh, Cooks, yeah. Cooks about to cook. Uh, the milestone Brandon Cooks, only an 87 overall, Gibbs. Yep. But looks like you can grab him Show for about 67K that speed, K right Boom. now. <laughs> a now, 93 speed. So now, as much as I love the rice and the, the value you get for him, I then say if we're going to build out the, the, the Gibbs hierarchy of needs – if we will, when it comes to playmaker receivers. Um, I think now you go Julio Jones, you go 86 overall Jerry Rice, and then your third playmaker receiver becomes Brandon Cooks, and your fourth playmaker receiver uh, is DeAndre Hopkins. And then you have uh, the Beckham and then like the better Rice. Like the right, the other the, the other Rice is value, really good. Value, though, like it, right. it puts him up that list just, a little, just based on value. This but. Cooks has so much speed, he makes a difference compared to the 86 Rice or the 88 speed, so he makes a big difference for your lineup in terms of uh, y- uh, yards after the catch. I absolutely love this Cooks on bubble screens. I think he's really effective. Mm-hmm. I've used it very effectively in the Denver, oh, the Denver yeah. Broncos playbook, single back trips. Love a little bubble screen in my life. You just run bubble, it out. You, you just chuck the, the ball out there. You get behind your blockers and you go. The 93 cheddar sticks that this guy has, absolutely awesome. Uh, you can make a lot of big plays with them and a great price for him right now in the auction house. So, I mean, this is when talking about speed and defender speed uh, specifically right now, there's still not that many defenders with this kind of speed out there right. on in Ultimate Team, right? So you put this guy in the slot and, and he's defended by a nickel corner or a linebacker, forget about it. You right. know? So it's one of those things. He's great value. Uh, definitely in my squad to come off the bench. I sub him in all the time and uh, I highly recommend him myself. That extra two speed makes a big difference. Uh, there's a lot of uh, ways to get him the ball downfield vertically. PA wide receiver ins on some posts. He can be really effective. Like I said, the bubble screens. Uh, this is going to be probably your primary drag receiver that you do the playmaker upfield yes, with. Yes. Uh, AKA, like you do the problem right where you run four verticals, run a drag, and then have this guy go upfield. Like that's the move with the way you use his cooks. Get him the ball and let him use his speed to get into situations where you get yak. Um, one of the better receiving items in the game for his price, for his playmaker ability, and his speed. Yeah. Do I don't. It. I don't love uh, Do a lot more outside of his speed and uh, the playmaker ability. Speed and looseness so gets a long way. 70 k. Yeah, you're you're paying for that uh, for that playmaker ability right there on the item. Listen, um, at five ten in speed, obviously. At five ten, you're not going like you gotta have an expectation of the way you're gonna use this guy. Like you can't just get this cooked right. and be like, oh yeah. well, oh uh, Gibbs or oh Farrell said that the Cooks is the best receiver ever. You, you got to use them the right way. This Cooks, the best way you're going to have success with him is on consistent drags, get him the ball on bubble screens, take advantage of one-on-one opportunities deep if you have a slower corner. Yep. You yeah. can't expect to throw the ball over him over situation. the deep middle. Another thing to watch out for, situation. too, is if, you're, if your opponent is running a lot of press coverage, he's only got a 78 release, which is you know a little tougher. Gibbs, do you, do you, oh, yeah. uh, do you, do you dis- dislike that at all, or...? Does that I'm not your ex- opinion on. I'm not excited about it. There's ways that you can get him have free release. Um, so the, I mean, there's ways to do to get around some of that. Uh, put him, put him in motion, uh, ins, outs, things like that. Like do that those type of uh, strategies, and you'll be able to get him free. But one on one downfield, him getting pressed, yeah, could be a b- big a, problem. Could be a big a, problem for you. He is problem. he is a great slot receiver. I agree with you. Um, and and c- I don't know. We we tend to call things budget items when. They're probably not a budget item, but um, well, there's there's budget 70, and then there's budget, like there's budget, budget, but like yeah, there's there there's there's top end which you have uh, a McCaffrey, you got the Julio, you got the right. Jerry Rice, you're paying top end coin for those guys. Then there is like real budget, like real budget coins would be like oh this receiver for two thousand coins, like right. that's yeah, real exactly. budget. But like to get someone that's actually that's like not real life, that's like. No, yeah. no, no. Well, what I when I say budget, <laughs> literally what I am referencing is like this is one of the best items in the game, right? And his value for the coins is compared so good to, compared right, to that's what, what you, we're talking about. Like we're talking about compared to yep. some of the other wide receivers uh, of similar rating. Think of it, exactly. Think, right. You're yep. picking up an elite with a playmaker ability. You're gonna pay sometimes a lot of coins. Like we just looked at that Odell Beckham Jr. Right. Who's going for 800,000 coins and he's going for 70. So right. So and that think, is definitely a budget. You got to think how you can improve your team by picking up guys like Cooks 
identifying who the cooks are at uh, tight end, at halfback, uh, linebacker, DN. You could f- get six guys that are like his ability uh, and that make a difference on your team for the price of just one of those Beckhams. So that's when we say budget. That's what it means is like think smarter in terms of don't just go after the, like the guy that's like, oh my gosh, he's the highest overall. There's more strategy that can go into it. Uh, and that's where we're kind of comparing the cooks to the rice here. You can make your coin go a little further. All right, so now we got to bounce over to defense. Uh, or unless, Goo, you I just, have any I just wanted, thoughts on Cooks? I do, because we've seen a couple of different milestone players here today. I just want to make it clear, uh, you know, if you're going to go out and buy a Brandon Cooks, there's two ways that you can make him a milestone. Number one is just to buy it directly off the auction house as a milestone. And what milestones means Boom. is uh, these are solo challenges you come in every single day and do. It's kind of your just daily grind. You get in there Grinding. do a couple solo ch- challenges, get a couple collectibles, and then you go in and you upgrade the standard Brandon Cooks with these milestone collectibles. So, again, watch out. Um, make sure you don't buy a regular Brandon Cooks when you're trying to get the uh, Playmaker Brandon Cooks. That's it. So. Pro tip on that. That's, that's really smart on Look that one. For the M, tip. right there, that's a, bottom left corner. Same thing with the, the Julio item. Jones.